up into part two of me still doing up the puffer fish. Right where we left off, I am still covering him in. You know, this seems a little bit off then, that I had to do the stripes like this. Instead of doing the spots last, but oh well, I already changed it. Do it like this. Just cover it on the way in. And that wasn't supposed to happen. Why is every time I cover something, there's always a simple little spot there I just freaking missed. That happens every time. Every freaking time. That's kind of annoying, right? Anyways, let's cover are all the spots on him. You know, this is like part two now that I have to keep on doing this guy. You know, it feels like third times in a row now. I always said I wanted to do the entire thing if I want to, but screw it, I'm the creator here. I can do it as much as I can. Yeah. Ask me about a box. I mean, if you like puffer fishes, they would count as good hands. But you want to make sure you wear like gloves or one of those. Use one of those fish nets to grab a man and put them in a tank. On those core holders and then put them in like a Chinese restaurant. I'm pretty sure people in Japan knows how to slice the mouth and take out the poison and cook them up. I mean I did see in the Simpsons cartoon that I think one of those chef guys Next day we give Homer Simpson a poison. Think pufferfish, thinking he would die. But luckily he still lived it. And he had like a short amount of time to live. I mean, to mention Homer Simpson did die in like the beginning of the series, and there would be no more seasons. Like what we had just today now. Particularly, they're still well, dangerous to have as loyalty pets to have all around. Not all puffer fishes are evil. Some of them are kind of good, actually. Being like the main heroes in most, most animated shows. If you know what I mean. In other words, they can be you know, playing as that classic meme thing about the puffer fish that eats a carrot. Apparently, they like eating seaweed and vegetables. That meme thing has been around for a very long time. See that classic puffer fish? Look at that face, all like all chubby cheeks. <laughs> it's actually pretty classic. On what they do. I mean, that was like the first time I ever did like a puffer fish. It's 20 years ago in 2001. The closest one I also did was basically the one from Banjo 2D. Those ones are actually the same ones from Donkey Kong 64. So the same names. I think in the game you can still shoot like explosive grenade eggs at them, or freeze them, they still pump like balloons and see their body parts go like BOOM! Slathered all around into many pieces. Go like go. Oh. 
like an old wreck up toy when you're about to put an explosion scatter all over a place like like a freaking Lego. Yeah, that's it. Like a Lego pieces all around. Just scattered all over the place. I'm just saying. And, um... That's how it works in, like, most video games of... Having puffer fishes as enemies or good friends. I don't know why they have to make them as bad guys. They can be quite helpful in most... Situations, being as pets. Especially this big one I'm doing, that's already covering up the entire screen. I'm sure it's taken me a long time to do all these spots. Trust me, I think someone did a lot of spots back then. Lots of dots all around. It's kind of cool that they act like balloons. I think the closest one that's kind of a good guy. Well, technically he is a good guy. I was in that one. Probably a Finding Nemo. Wrote. That's his name. I remember he's voiced by Brad Garrett that does a lot of voice acting for a very long time since the mid-90s. I find him downright hilarious. I think he's also in the video game too. Oh wait, Finding Nemo also had Pupper Fish as enemies too. So, yeah. That actually makes sense. I'm just saying that because I'm doing this a very long time of covering and the entire puffer fish's area face there. If you know what I mean. But seriously, they would eventually almost kill you if you touch them in certain areas that you don't want to do. I don't think they allow them to be in like one of those certain the places where kids can touch sea creatures at the aquamarine places where Ocean World used to be at before you know what they did to Shamu all those years ago since the mid 70s. Oh, yeah, there was like the video game called Shamu. And nobody even remembers. Another puffer fish bad guy in the game, too. I think they keep on using a lot of them in video games being bad guys. Why is that always a thing in video games to make them as they are, thinking they're evil? They're not always least wickedly mean all the time. If you know what I mean. You know what? Hold on. I know I'm not finished with this yet, but let me go ahead and do the eyes dark brown color. And here we go. See you all next time.